okay good morning all so welcome to my lesson okay so yesterday if you remember we talked about uh, santosh yadav okay the women the indian women from haryana who scaled mount everest twice okay and uh, we learn about her life story how she started uh, which we see working to achieve her dream we all have dream now what are the things that you have to sacrifice what are the things what are the skill what are the qualities that we need to have okay what are the things that makes uh, uh, which is santosh other different from us okay now these are the things that you should be learning from her life story we are not talking about uh, her life after uh, becoming a great person okay we talked about how she became how she was able to uh, achieve her dream okay so these are the things that we need to understand we we have to learn about the struggling phase and by learning by learning through the struggling phase then uh, we can also get some kind of motivation and inspiration okay yes so that was santosh yadav from a small town okay in uh, haryana uh, now today we are going to talk about another famous uh, woman a lady in the world okay she is none other than maria sharapova okay yes a uh, very famous tennis player you must have heard about the different tournaments we have in the t uh, tennis isn't it for example the australian Ch open french open wimbledon grand slam there are so many which are tournaments okay yes so uh, there isn't anybody who does not know uh, who maria sharapova is okay yes so yes we are going to learn about the life story of maria sharapova uh, not her life after becoming famous then we all know okay now we have to study how she uh, struggled in her life what makes her different okay what are the qualities what are the sacrifices she had uh, which is given in order to achieve such kind of uh, achievement okay yes so for that we are going to read this and again this is a part of the lesson okay english textbook uh, reach for the top okay yes so reach for the top means we are not just talking about the mountain reaching the top of the mountain okay we are talking about uh, the top of your career okay yes so as far as the yadav is concerned okay yes we know that she was able to climb the uh, Mount Everest, which is related to um, the top of the world. Okay, but when we talk of Maria Sharapo, Sharapova, I mean, we are not talking about Maria Sharapova climbing the Mount Everest, but we are talking about how she was able to come to uh, on the top of the world. Okay, on the top of her career. So likewise, uh, today we are going to learn about Maria Sharapova. If you are interested in knowing more about her, you can get lots and lots of information about her. Okay, yes. So for the time being, we are going to read our text. I'm going to read this and you are going to read along with me. Okay, yes, it's a very short uh, part. Okay, yes. There is something disarming about Maria Sharapova something at odds with her ready smile and glamorous attire and that something in her lifted her on monday 22nd august 2005 to the world number one position in women's tennis all this happened in almost no time poised beyond her ear years the siberian born teenager took just four years as a professional to reach the pinnacle you got it so maria sharapova okay now she was quite different from the girls of her own age okay yes she was odd odd with her ready smile and glamorous attire at times clothes she used to wear uh, which are fashionable clothes but she was different from uh, the people of her own age okay yes so she was different and that's something in her lifted on monday 22nd august 2005 so what special thing came in her life on monday august 22nd 2005 
that was she became the world number one position in women's tennis okay there are so many women players in uh, tennis isn't it and she became the number one uh, position okay yes and then uh, coming up with the number one okay holding a first position in the women's tennis that too all over the world it's not an easy task okay you need to have so many things so all this happened in almost no time poised beyond her age she was young but she looked much more uh, what should I say matured according to her age okay and she was Maria Sharapova a Siberian born teenager she was teenager just like Santosh Yadav okay she was teenager and she was from a Russia okay Russian she took four years she just spent four years regular training like this and then she became a professional tennis player okay and at that teenage year she was able to reach the pinnacle the climax, the success, the top position. You got it? And then that is not easy. Now, there are so many things we need to learn about her. Okay? So, that is just the beginning. Okay? A very special moment came on August 22nd, Monday, 2005, because she became number one in women's tennis. Okay? Yes. However, okay? The rapid ascent and fiercely competitive world began nine years before with the level of sacrifice few children would be prepared to endure. Little Maria had not yet celebrated her 10th birthday when she was packed off to a train in the United States. That trip to Florida with her father, Yuri, launched her on the path to success and stardom. But it also required a heart-wrenching two-year separation from her mother, Yelena. The latter was compelled to stay back in Siberia because of visa restriction. The nine-year-old girl had already learned an important lesson in life, that tennis, that tennis excellence would only come at a price. You got it. So she became a number one in the women's uh, tennis. Okay. So we all know that it is not easy. So we need to see what are the sacrifices uh, she had to go through. Okay. Yes. So that rapid action. Okay. In a fiercely competitive world, the world is full filled with lots of competition, even in the table, uh, which would say tennis, okay? Yes, in the tennis competition also, there are lots and lots of competition. There are competition everywhere. So those who excel, those who become popular, they become popular, uh, which are because of so many sacrifices, you see? Okay, yes. Now competitive world began nine years before with the level of sacrifice, okay? now. Right from her childhood, she had to sacrifice so many things. Unless you sacrifice something, you won't be able to achieve anything in your life. Okay, yes, that is the one thing that we need to understand. Uh, whether we talk about Santosh Yadav or Maria Sharapova, or there are so many great uh, would you celebrities in this world. If you look at the history, uh, okay, then you will find that they had sacrificed a lot. Okay, yes. And now you reflect upon yourself at this stage. You are a teenager. You just try to see whether you are able to sacrifice small, small happiness or not. If you are not able to sacrifice anything, there's no way you can become a great person. You will be able to achieve something great in your life. You got it? So that is the thing. So nine years before, with a level of sacrifice, few children would be prepared to endure. Okay? Yes. Not all the people will be able to endure. Okay? To sacrifice. You need to sacrifice a lot. Okay? Yes. But Maria Sherev Power was one of uh, these few people who uh, would sacrifice. Okay? Yes. Little Maria had not yet celebrated her 10th birthday. You see, we are talking about Maria Sharapova uh, in her 10th year. Okay, she was, uh, she has not even celebrated her 10th birthday. Now look at us. Okay, we used to celebrate our uh, birthday every year, isn't it? But she did not celebrate her uh, 10th birthday. So what happened during that time, she was packed up. She was sent to uh, train uh, in United States. So from Russia, she went to America, especially Florida. Okay, 
Why? Because uh, she had to take part in uh, which is a course. Okay, she wanted to learn. Okay, so that trip to Florida with her father. What? Who was her father? Her father's name was Yuri, and who was her mother? Her mother was mm, Yelena. Okay, yes. So that trip to Florida with her father launched her on the path. So that was her first path to success and stardom. So she was she became very popular, and her journey began uh, from the day she went to Florida for her training when she was just ten years old. Okay, yes, but it also required a heart wrenching two year separation from her mother Yelena. So, in order to achieve your aim, you cannot achieve your aim easily by enjoying all the comfort. You have to come out of your cocoon. You have to come out and, uh, which would say, face different kind of challenges and problem. Okay, so you see, right at the age of ten, she got separated from her mother. Okay, yes, for two years. The training uh, will be very vigorous, so she had to stay away from uh, her mother at the age of ten. Okay, yes, the mother was not able to accompany her because there was some issue uh, about the visa. Okay, the later that means mother was compelled to stay back, although she wanted to go with her. Daughter, but she was forced to stay back in Siberia because of the visa restriction. So you all are familiar with the visa restriction. Whenever we want to go abroad, okay, we first need visa. Okay, yes, uh, the permission to go. Okay, yes. Now there was some issue, so she could not come. Okay, uh, the nine-year-old girl had already learned an important lesson in life. Right from her nine years. Uh, which is a time she learned a very important lesson in life. What was that thing? In order to get anything in your life, it has got a price. You have to pay. You have to pay a heavy price. For example, the tennis excellence. Okay, she became a very uh, which is a uh, famous person in tennis, and it would not come uh, free. Of course, it came with a huge price. So. In that case, what was the price she had to pay? Uh, she got separated from her mother. Okay, she uh, she her mother could not company, and she had to uh, stay without uh, her mother's company. So that was the sacrifice. Okay, that was the price. Okay, uh, for her becoming uh, popular in the tennis. You got it. So we have to learn these things. We have to. Everything in this world has a price. If you want to become a great person, there is a price. When I say price, I'm not talking about in terms of money. You have to give. You have to sacrifice a lot. You can. Okay. Yes. So if you are the one who can sacrifice, who who is the one who can challenge everything obstacle, then that shows that you are going to be a different person. Okay, so you just ask yourself: Are you the one who is willing to sacrifice, who is willing to face the challenges in your life? Okay, so that is a big question. Okay, yes. So let us go further. I used to be so lonely. Maria Sharapova recalls. I missed my mother terribly. My father was working as much as he could to keep my tennis training going, so he could not see me either. Because I was so young, I used to go out to bed at 8 p.m. The other tennis people would come in at 11 p.m. and wake me up and order me to tidy up the room and clean it. Instead of letting that depress me, I became more quietly determined and mentally tough. I learned how to take care of myself. I never thought of quitting because I knew what I wanted. When you come from nothing and you have nothing, then it makes you very hungry and determined. I would have put up with much more humiliation and insult than that to steadfastly pursue my dream. Okay, yes. So you see what she was telling. Okay, so we know that she was not with her、uh, mother, and she was very young. And then she recalls, okay, that she used to feel so lonely. Everybody, if you are away from your mother at a tender age like this, then everybody will feel, everybody will miss. But 
that is the price she has to pay okay now during that time uh, if just uh, if she uh, which is a return to her home and stay with her mother then today she would not be uh, which is a maria shara power okay she must be a different okay yeah so you see this is the same i miss my mother terribly so my father was working as much as he could now her father was also working because her father has to uh, which would say bear the expense of the tennis training okay yes and uh, she uh, he also need to work hard okay so his father could not uh, which would say come to see maria sharapova and mother was back in siberia siberia okay yes in russia so she was all alone but she could not complain which would complain because she wanted to become something great okay yes because i was so young so she was young and she used to go to bed at 8 pm now you just try to see at what time do you go to bed some student they go to bed very late okay and then they get up late okay some student they used to go to bed early and they get up early in the morning and do all the necessary things like this okay yes so shara pawa she used to go to bed at 8 pm and look at her other people okay yes her other tennis people they used to come at 11 pm okay and then the moment they came they used to wake uh, maria uh, shara pawa and then uh, they used to order her to clean the room and tidy the room all these things okay yes how would you feel okay if you are in the middle of the sleep and somebody your seniors your colleague they come and then order you to clean the room all of a sudden you would not uh, which is a digest such kind of things okay yes now let us see what uh, which is shara power did instead of letting that depress me instead of uh, which we say uh, letting these things depress her okay she became more quietly determined and mentally tough you got it so whenever something comes okay that that is uh, which we say uh, beyond your thing or that is that, that uh, which we say um, troubles you so it is not time for you to give up okay it should make you uh, which you more determined and mentally tough okay so that was uh, the thing maria shara power did i learned how to take care of myself she was very young okay she tried to learn how to take care of herself she never thought of quitting okay just because she had to face some problem she did not quit because she knew what she wanted you got it so uh, when we talk about santosh shara she was also determined right from her childhood maria was also determined she had got some passion she wanted to follow okay and she was ready to pay any kind of price even if she had to what should i say uh, face all this trouble she did not quit okay yes so she further said when you come from nothing and you have nothing we know that they both are from i mean uh, whether we talk about santosh yadav or maria they both were from the uh, what should i say normal family okay yes so nothing then it makes you very hungry and determined you become determined so we see the word determined in both the uh, what should i say ladies okay i would have put up with much more humiliation okay yes and so then to stick fastly pursue my dream now she has got one purpose she had got one dream okay so there is no way uh, uh, what should i say something stops to follow her dream she was determined to follow and uh, in in the quest for following her dream she was fully prepared to tackle all the uh, hurdles and problems that comes in her uh, what should i say fulfilling her dream okay she was mentally prepared she became determined now a great person should have all these qualities we should not get depressed uh, just because of some problem okay now if you look at her she used to face lots and lots of problem right from her child okay right from her 9 and 10 years but she was strong she was determined to achieve her dream you got it okay so it's very important for us to reflect on your own life okay what kind of person okay you must have come across so many things how many times did you get depressed how many times did you quit okay now these are the things that you should be pondering okay these are the lesson that you should be learning okay yes 
That toughness ran through Maria even today. It was the key to her bagging the women's single crown at Wimbledon in 2004 and to her meteoric rise to the world number one spot the following year. While her journey from the frozen plains of Siberia to the summit of women's tennis has touched the hearts of tennis fans, for the youngster herself there appears to be no room for sentiment. The straight looks and the answer she gives when asked about her ambition make it amply clear that she considers the sacrifices were worth it. I'm very, very competitive. I work hard at what I do. It's my job. This is her mantra for success. Though Maria Sharapova speaks with a pronounced American accent, she proudly parades her Russian nationality. Clearing all doubts, she says, I am Russian. It's true that the U.S. is a big part of my life, but I have Russian citizenship. My blood is totally Russian. I will play the Olympics for Russia if they want me to. Okay, so you see, okay, right from her childhood, just like Santosh Arav, she was very determined, tough, mentally strong. She was ready to, which we say, pay any price, okay, yes, in her life. So that this toughness still runs in Maria even today, okay, it was not uh, just uh, during her teenage or young age, that toughness, that quality is still running in Maria even today. Okay, yes, and that was the key to her begging the women's single crown at Wimbledon in 2004. So in 2004, she begged the women's single crown, women's single title, okay, in 2004. And in order to uh, beg such great title, it is not easy unless you uh, give some, unless you sacrifice something, unless you are tough physically and mentally, you won't be able to get such uh, which a coveted prize, okay? And to her meteoric rise, and she got, uh, which was promoted to the world number one spot in the following year, in 2004 onwards, you see? Yes. Now, while her journey from the frozen plain, and we all know that where she came from, she just came from the frozen plain, it's very cold in Russia, okay, Siberia, to the summit of the women's tennis, okay, she was able to become a very successful tennis player, okay, and, and uh, what should I say, uh, there was no room for uh, sentiment, she was very strong, okay, yes, mentally strong, and then whenever she uh, gives answer. Whenever she faces some interview, uh, she always gives answer. Okay, she gives uh, when asked about her impression. It makes it amplicate. She used to be very clear that she considered that the sacrifices that she had made had paid. Okay, yes, it was the sacrifices uh, which made her uh, very successful. Okay, yes. This is her mantra for success. So, uh, Anybody who is famous, uh, if you ask about how they became, they used to follow some kind of a mantra, okay, some kind of a, uh, what should I say, uh, um, a special thing uh, that makes them uh, successful, okay. So, in turn, uh, in Man uh, Maria's Sarah Power case, it was all these character, okay, yes, uh, very strong mentally, physically, fully determined, okay, now these are some of the mantra, actually there isn't any short way to becoming a great person, you need so many skill, you need so many strategies, you need so many tactics, now these are her tactics, okay, yes, because she has sacrificed a lot right from her childhood, so that made her a number one, okay, yes. Now let us talk about Maria Sharapova, okay, yes, she loved her own country, okay, everybody should love uh, his or her country, okay, yes, Maria Sharapova speaks with a pronounced American accent, 
because she went to America at the age of nine. Okay, yes, and she uh, knows uh, which is the American accent, but she proudly says, she proudly reveals about her nationality. She said that uh, she uh, has got a Russian nationality. Okay, she said that she was a Russian. Okay, and she does not deny the fact that U.S. has uh, become a, a big part in her life. That is true. But she said that she has got a Russian citizenship and her blood is totally Russian. And uh, if she were given a chance, then she would play, uh, which would say tennis for uh, Russia. Okay, now you see, apart from uh, all these greatness, she also have a strong uh, nationality okay she is a patriotic she loves her own country and we should also love we should be proud of where you come from where your parents come from okay so this is the thing that we can also learn from the great people some great people when they become great then they forget about all their rules they forget about everything so as far as Maria Shara Power is concerned, even she had become a world number one in tennis, she stick to her own nationality. She speaks about her nationality. Okay, she was proud of being a Russian. Now these are the things that we need to learn from these great people. Okay, yes. Like any number of teeny sensation, Maria Shara Power lists fashion, singing and dancing as a hobby. She loves reading the novels of Arthur Conan Doyle. Her fondness for sophisticated evening gowns appears at odds with her love of pancakes and chocolate, spread and fizzy orange drinks. Maria Sharapova cannot be pigeonholed or categorized. Her talent, unwavering desire to succeed and readiness to sacrifice have lifted her to the top of the world. Few would grudge her the riches she is now reaping. This is what she has to say about her monetary gains from tennis. Of course, money is a motivation. Tennis is a business and a sport. But the most important thing is to become number one in the world. That is the dream that kept me going. Okay, yes. So we all know that Maria Sharapova, she was a teenager, okay, very young. And at uh, such young age, she became the world number one. Now, just like any other teenager, she also has so many hobbies. Okay, yes. So, Maria Sharapova, apart from playing tennis, apart from, uh, which would say, dedicating her life to playing tennis, she also has uh, hobbies like fashion and singing and dancing. She also loves reading, okay, novels. Okay, yes. So reading a great people, many of the great people, they love reading. Okay, they spend lots and lots of time reading. So by reading, it is just a which you exercise for your brain. Okay, physical exercise we do, but for mental, for brain, it's important for us to read. Okay, so you see Maria Sharapova also reads. She used to read novels of uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. You must be familiar with this author. Okay, yes, detective. He used to write detective stories. So Maria Sharapova used to love reading novels of Sir Arthur Conan Don. Okay, she also loves, uh, what should you say, uh, the clothes, gowns. Okay, yes, and she loved pancake, chocolate, fizzy, orange. So you see, she was just uh, like an, any other ordinary teenager. Okay, but she was very determined, unlike us. Unlike the youngsters, she was totally determined, she was ready to sacrifice, she was ready to pay any price in order to achieve her dream. Okay, so because of all these qualities, she became number one. Okay, yes. Now, these are the things that we need to pay attention. Okay, yes. And Maria Sharapova cannot be categorized. Okay, yes. Pigeon hole means categorized. Her talents unwavering desire to succeed okay she has got the unwavering her desire to succeed uh, right from her childhood was very strong okay and she was ready to sacrifice okay now because of all these things she became uh, which is say uh, number one in this world okay and people may say it is because of uh, the money okay 
yes and she also has the reply okay yes as far as the money is concerned you will get okay so this is what she has to say about her monetary gain from the tennis let us see what she says of course money is a motivation okay yes money plays important role and money is one which motivates everybody but that is one okay tennis is a business and a sport okay tennis she says tennis is a business and a sport but the most important thing is to become number one in the world there are so many players there are so many tennis players in the world but what is very important is to become a number one in the world okay yes so that is the dream that she had been dreaming right from her childhood okay and she was able to achieve that dream okay which many don't okay she was able to achieve that dream because she had price a heavy she had given a high price she sacrificed a lot okay yes she sacrificed a lot she was different from the other teenagers she did not have any time to worry about uh, which is a small serve she was determined okay and she said that that's the dream that kept me going she said that she has got a dream and that dream made her go made her work so hard in her life you got it so if you look at the biography of all the great people one thing is common they both they all are determined they all have already got the desire or the dream and they try to follow that dream okay in order to follow that dream they uh, had come across so many obstacles they had to sacrifice a lot but they were ready as long as they were able to achieve the dream so that is the thing okay so with this we have come to uh, the end of this lesson okay the lesson was reach for the top okay yes if you look at the story of these two uh, great women we know that uh, the title okay reach for the top suits them okay yes one we are talking about uh, climbing the mount everest the other one we are talking about becoming a number one in the uh, tennis okay yes maria sharapova okay yes now uh, after uh, listening to this video i just want you to think about your own role model okay you must be having some kind of a role model and this uh, which is santosh yadav and maria sharapova these are just a few example okay uh, people uh, follow them okay they have become a role model for so many uh, teenagers especially the girls okay for the boys they have their own role models so what i want you to do is you just think about one role model who is your role model each and everybody has a role model so what are you going to do after this you are going to write the name of that person to whom you consider as a role model you just do some kind of small research and you just write one page okay uh, about that person okay what are the things what made this person great and what are the lesson that you need to take from that person okay yes uh, so that is the exercise that i want you to do is that okay yes think about your role model who is your role model and write one page about that role model that great person uh, to whom you consider as a role model and you just uh, which is trying to uh, which we say write some of the sacrifices some of the um, special qualities okay that made that person a great one did you understand so today I'm going to stop here and I hope you will do this exercise. Okay, yes. Thank you.